All right, guys, look it. I know this is a weird location, but it's been a while. Can you see my hands? It's been a while since I've done really a customization video. Um, and that's really what my channel was supposed to be about. But um, so let's get on to a little customization. Now, what happened last week was I mentioned in a previous video that it was my first weekend last Saturday of playing with the tournament painted pieces. Okay, and um, but it was last Friday night, like a game was on Saturday. It was last Friday night. I have these pieces, but man, I just couldn't bring myself to say, here, go ahead and play the game. Okay, I was like, oh man, what am I gonna do? I can't just hand somebody all these trays and I didn't feel like dumping these out. You know, I have my uh, my detail painted, and they're all spread out, you know, as for infantry, you know, land units, sea units, air units, and roundels. But I wasn't about to dump all these out so I can put these in there, right? And you know, so, you see, these are substantially bigger. I mean, these, the ones I made for my custom, uh, just for me personally, are way bigger, but, I have to do something for the tournament anyways. And the, inside the table I'm making for the tournament, I planned on doing something like this anyways. But what if I can kill two birds with one stone? What if I can just make these piece trays have compartments and then I could insert this box into the tournament table, but do all that without having, I, I don't, you know, I don't, I can do it with the materials I have on hand, you know, so it matches because I do have OCD. And um, let me tell you, uh, if I don't have dividers that match this container, it's gonna drive me insane. So it was Friday night, had to come up with something quick. So let's put this aside. Now we have, what is it, 10? 10 containers here, but you really only need seven, okay? You, you don't, A, let's just start here. You don't need two UK boxes, okay? UK is UK, all right? Uh, this, we have two Americas here. Uh, we're, you know, just put America in the same box. France doesn't need a box. France just needs to be shoved somewhere else. And same thing with China. What's up with this? Uh, you know, there's a lot of room in there. Uh, now granted, Maybe you keep your uh, chips in here. Maybe you keep your dice in here. But for us, that's not the case. I have, you've seen my custom table. I have a spot for cash. I have a spot for chips. I have a spot for dice. It's, it has nothing to do with the peace trays. Okay, so I knew I, I knew I can cancel China. I knew I can cancel one of the UKs. And I knew I can cancel this America, France one. So that leaves me now seven boxes instead of 10 gives me these ones to free up which is exactly should be side it's exactly what i did push these over now i have down to seven now it's not as intricate as my detail box but it's good enough you know i have land sea and air and if it's different you know like japan you know you have sea air and oh wait that's not air land and air um, so, but basically you end up with four, can you see in the video? You end up with four of the same, just, you know, maybe more, more ground units, more C units, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, with four of the same, you end up with UK sharing with France, which is how I, I like it. I like, uh, when I'm the allies, I like to either play, this is how I like to set up the, either you're this. So you're Anzac, UK, France, and China, or you are this. Okay, that, that's how I personally prefer the uh, setup. I feel these two work together well, and these work together well. Um, if you have an American player, for example, who really isn't on board with the Pacific, but they're in charge of China, like it's supposed to be in the rule book, well, you don't want your you don't want America you don't want the American player meddling 
with your China when you're trying to like save China and you have UK and China and ANZAC kind of working together. You don't want the American player fiddling with your plans, okay? So this is a player and this is a player. I hate more than 212 games and I honestly kind of refuse to play them. Um, not only does do the games draw out longer, um, it's, it's, it's really, I don't think, designed well for for six people. It's pretty much one player, two player, three player, four player. Okay. Um, that's, just, that's just me personally. You, like I said, you might feel differently. Uh, you might like six people. Um, just, I don't. Um, so I don't host those games here. So uh, when, I, when my people come to my house, um, anything after four it you know it's just it's weightless now sometimes i won't play like if uh if if four people really want to come I, i'm not going to tell them not to not that they can't play i won't play you know i'll just sit around i'll serve drinks get the food whatever whatever and watch everybody have a good time but i don't really think it's you know like i said i like two on two so anyway so let's get back to this to this so we have four of the same Italy, Italy's small. I mean, smaller. It's 50 50. You got air, you got air and uh, navy, and you have everything else. You know, it's it's more it's more than sufficient. Like I said, same thing with Anzac, but you can throw China in there. And then you have this. Now, you can get all this dividers from the other three containers. So let's uh, let's let's get into business here. So let's shove those aside for a second, and let's bring out the other three containers. So you have container one, you have container two, and you have container three. Okay, I'm making my foot out of the way, I don't, I don't see my toes. Okay, so now obviously you can do whatever you wanna do. Um, just, just, just my recommendation on you might you might like more players, so obviously this won't work for you. You can't you can't hand the Anzac tray with China pieces if you like China to be with somebody else. So, like I said, this is just how I play it here. This is how I pass the trays out here. Um, uh, you know, if you like I said you have something different, uh, that's totally cool. So, but this is how I will have it at the event. I mean, when I have the pieces all over the place, they're gonna be divided up like this. Um, it's not to say you have to play like that um, at all. You can you can have uh, an ally player be everybody except America. I don't really care. You know, just about, uh, you know, these trays will come out of the game tables at the event. You can pop them out, slide them somewhere else. You can switch them around, um, which is another thing that's cool because prior to this, I was gonna have them made out of wood and you, you would have had to dig all the pieces out and relocate them. This way, um, you can just pop the tray. It's like, oh, I wanna sit over here instead. Well, you can just pop the tray out, put it over there and drop it back into the table. Um, it is, it's gonna fit into these grooves. It's gonna be epic. And speaking of the tables, it is July now. The tables will be under construction this month. So those videos will be coming soon. And when I say those videos are coming soon, I'm gonna try to point at the camera. Soon. Okay, so enough of that. So, in, in my configuration, this is extra, okay? Uh, now, naturally, you know, you maybe you want a couple more compartments. Well, you can get a couple, couple more compartments out of this. Okay, this is like I said, I don't, I don't need this for my setup, so let's put that aside. So now we have this. Now you're gonna get the lids of, you're gonna take the Pacific lid for, U, for UK. Okay, you're gonna cut it out. You're gonna cut that, okay, and then that's trash. And then same thing for China. Now what you can do now, let's grab, uh, let me see, where's my, now since for me, I like to uh, put the China with the Anzac. You cut it out. You're gonna get this handy dandy spray glue, number 77. Super 77, okay, you can spray glue this bad boy, you can paste it right in there, it's done. And Anzac set up, China set up, okay. That's lid one. Lid two, you have the regular America, 
That's fine. Well, put the other America in there. Spray glue it. Put it in there. America one, America two. And last but not least, you're gonna take the the Ugan spins, and this is the important part. Okay, if you choose this as your lid, well, this is this next part isn't gonna work because you're gonna flip that over. You're gonna put this in here, and then you can put France in there. Okay. Now, obviously, if you were using this as the lid, well, there's too much data there. It's not going to work out. And if you want to go the extra mile, that 16 IPC. Um, where's, where's my lid? Uh, where's my lid? Oh, here it is. The one I did on Friday, you can go the extra mile just in case you do divide up the game. And uh, you can put that 16 IPC right there. And I can't tell. I am looking at the camera upside down and backwards, but I think it's on there. So... Anyway, so that's what you're that's what you're going for. So those are your lids. Okay, those are those are done deal. Now let's get down to uh, let's get down to the good stuff. So America, we'll start with the America tray. So now these are sensor dividers. Those can all go together in one in one group. These are actually measured to a specific thing. Well, actually. Uh, Two are measured to a specific thing. The rest are just the remainders of the box. It, it doesn't really matter how big they were, but there is a reason for these specifications. So actually we should probably start with the UK. So let's grab a UK box. And we just pull these pieces out. We're gonna start here. Now, since I do have OCD, um, I do gotta make sure all my game pieces match or it'll drive me nuts. So the first one here, I think was this one here would go here now it doesn't quite fit as it is right now so we kind of kind of go out got to go in there a little bit we got to chop this and the camera yeah we're going to chop that and we're going to chop that now you can see it fits so that's one and then we're going to get one of these dividers here you would put it right oh i have it right here and then i have is it this one that one right there, let's cut this. And it's a little bit tight, so we'll just do it again. Now, like I said, you can make these any measurements you want. I just, these are just guidelines that I would recommend because you, as you can see, everything fits. So how big are these? Well, let's get into that real quick. This first chamber here, is we have two inches and this next chamber here is also two inches actually uh, let's let's go back let's get more get more precise one and seven eighths and one and seven eighths sorry for my missed uh, direction there now the reason why we you have to keep a bigger tray if you use my cards because if you've seen my original card videos when I talked about making uh, making these cards here, uh, one of the things that I took into consideration when making these card decks is they need to fit in the original box. So when you put your pieces away, the cards remain. Okay. So when I made these, it was. Not only to fit in here, I, I had to get as much data as possible. You can see a lot of these cards are totally maxed out. Um, that I couldn't fit a lot of this information if I used a smaller card. And so I wanted to go with a card that wasn't, I know it's, um, it's not a standard issue looking card. It does have its unique shape, but it was all made to fit, almost max width in here. And then kind of a, a nice size after that so i can get as much data as i can possible i mean look, look at these these cards are full you know it's just trying to get every little last sentence in there to make sure there's no misrepres misrepresentations to make sure everything in the rule books are in here and last but not least they actually fit so that's the only thing if you don't use my deck then it really doesn't matter where you, you know what you do i mean maybe you want to do something like this you know, you can have, have even more compartments. But for me, you know, this doesn't, my deck doesn't fit in, in, in this, okay? So, and what this, and what this is, you know, when you cut in the box, this is this width. So, I mean, I can't, I can't make this, 
I can't make this any bigger. Okay, this is just in a, a, a compartment. Okay, so enough of that. Cards aside. All right, so let's get electrical tape. Electrical tape works really well. Not only does it work well, it matches well. Uh, electrical tape breaks off easy, but I suggest you use scissors so you have nice, clean cuts. Okay, um, I do have, like I said, OCD, and uh, having crappy looking boxes uh, wouldn't have been my favorite thing. So what you do, just uh, we're gonna tape up all these connections really quick. And um, you wanna get them really good um, because uh, you don't wanna have any problems with them. Now I'm not gonna sit here and tape every single container but we can get to the, the gist. Now we're gonna do, you're gonna do sides. I don't, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna do all of them. We'll do this corner really quick. And this one right here, I am not happy with. So let's redo that one. Not, had a wrinkle in it. Like I said, it's my OCD, man. Sorry, can't handle wrinkles. So uh, what I'm doing here is for uh, a really good bond is um, it's actually going to be like four pieces per side. What you're going to do is you're not only going to hit this corner okay so it's 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 like it's like this and then like this you're gonna hit that corner so it's both on both sides after the fact after the fact and then you'll to keep that in place you'll wrap the top and then not only does that make it look clean it keeps it secure and also what it does is get rid of any white edges that you had from your cuts. And then you get a really good, a really good seam. So this one here, like I said, you get a really, you get a really good seam. Um, so there is that one. Okay, so you have China, you have, and then whatever units you want to do. There's that piece tray. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and tape them all. There's no point. You can see what I'm doing. So, that one. Now you're going to have, you have enough, ma enough material to do all four of these the same. Okay, so you have one, two, three, and four. Now it doesn't matter where you put this, you know, uh, you know, I just chose a spot, made them all the same, like I said, because uh, it would drive me crazy if they're not the same. So, you know, you pick anywhere you want. Just remember, if you do use my cards, just make sure you left enough room for them somewhere. You know, if you don't use my cards, then it doesn't really matter, do whatever you want. You know, you don't have to worry about the cards fitting if you don't use my cards, okay? So, and that's the same thing. Just put that bad boy in there. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna tape aside, tape aside, tape aside, tape aside, and then uh, you're gonna wrap on, wrap on top, wrap on top, wrap on top, wrap on top, or any way you want. I'm just saying, just trying to give you some, give you some guidelines here. They're not actual. You have to follow them to the T. Okay, so that leaves us now with. Let's scoot those over there. That leaves us now with three more pieces, the oddballs, okay? Now, China. China uses this one, which is two and three eighths. Now, why is it important China gets this one? Well, if you use my cash, you're gonna wanna be able to put the cash in there. And then you also wanna, you know, you can put the cash in that one for that country. If you use the narrower ones, it's not going to you know, it doesn't really fit in there. Okay, you wanna have a nice compartment where uh, the cash will fit in there. Cash will fit in there to keep them separated. 
That's, that's really the only reason, okay? So there's that one. And it doesn't matter which one's which. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just putting a divider in there. Uh, so you put the divider in there and, and tape it up. It doesn't, doesn't matter what you do. I just split mine in the middle. So that takes care of those two. And last but not least, leaves you one remainder. Just stick it there. Like I said, I put mine in the middle, but anywhere, you know, anywhere you want. In addition to, don't forget, you do have extra, um, this is, you have this much extra. If you do this configuration, you have this much extra to do something else. I mean, you can probably, yeah, you can get another, uh, you can get another cut out of it. Uh, I don't know if you can get two or not, let's see. Can you get two more cuts out of it? No. So you can do one more, one more cut out of it and then you have a, a remainder for, for something else. Okay, so that's it. So like I said, so then you're stuck with, at the end, you're down three boxes, but you have a, a decent piece tray to hand to your people. You have setup cards, and then you have the setup cards. And with all this, nothing changes. So now you're just down from seven boxes, uh, down from 10 boxes, and um, let me tell you, this is, uh, when people come over, you want, you want to give somebody this. You don't want to give somebody this, okay? This is, uh, this is not fun. Um, that's why I made piece boxes uh, to begin with. Um, so that's it. So all you really need is uh, grab yourself some elect electrical tape, 99 cents at Home Depot, and then grab yourself some Super 77. Um, I don't recall where I got this, but either, either spray glue will work. Or you know, or you don't even have to spray glue them. You can, if you want, this you can probably tape them in there. It doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. I have another cool customization coming up. Uh, I'm gonna do the video right now. I've been wanting to do this. It's we're, we're gonna do some molds and some casting, but um, it's pretty wicked. And so while uh, all this is upping, I'll do that because it's the Fourth of July, and uh, uh, Wendy's at work. Cause she's on. She's she's one of those unfortunate souls that has to work on this holiday. And uh, quite honestly, I ain't got shit to do except make videos. So this is a good day. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.